Hi, welcome to the Real United States Video Blog, and I'm your host, Paul Campbell, and behind the camera there is my camera operator and wife, Beverly Campbell, and we have a special guest here who is a marmot. Now, there's 15 species of marmot in the world, but only one of them is indigenous to the North American continent, and that's the Marmota monax. Uh, we don't call them marmots here in the United States. We call them groundhogs, usually, or sometimes woodchucks. And uh, there's a tradition, here in the United States at least, called Groundhog Day. It's kind of a silly thing that we do on February 2nd to, uh, I don't know, uh, show hope for the end of winter. And uh, <laughs> there he is, if, if the groundhog comes out of his den and he sees his shadow and uh, is frightened and goes back in his den, you're due for six more weeks of winter. But uh, if he doesn't see his shadow, then spring is supposedly imminent. Or as they say, just around the corner. Now, marmots uh, don't generally eat meat. They're not omnivorous uh, like other members of the family. And the family includes all squirrels. They're actually a large ground squirrel, uh, Sayuridae. And uh, they do eat some things, but they're not really omnivorous. They, they will eat uh, grubs and grasshoppers and even some small animals, but generally they eat uh, vegetation, plants, berries, things like that, which is, well, one of the reasons we had to trap him, because we really couldn't have him tearing loose in the garden and eating everything. Uh, but they weigh about four to nine pounds on average here in the United States. Um, in, in large areas where there's uh, lots of alfalfa, they will, they will get up to 31 pounds. But generally about 4 to 9 pounds. And this little guy's probably on the low, low end of that, probably about 4 or 5 pounds. <laughs> He's watching me. He's very, very nervous, obviously. This is a wild animal. It's not a domesticated animal. But it's, a, a, like I said, a member of the squirrel family. And it's, uh, it's kind of hard to, to show him. He's, he's listening to me because he doesn't know what I am or whether I'm a threat. We've been trying to, to keep him fed so because we uh, actually trapped him during the night. And uh, the marmots generally, their range is across the northeastern, north central, even into the western and northwestern United States and lower parts of Canada. Uh, rel relatively rare. This is only the second one I've actually seen in my lifetime, and I happen to be fortunate enough or unfortunate enough, depending on your point of view, to have him take up residence under my back porch. But uh, they don't, uh, they don't uh, live in the southern part of the United States or in the southern part of the North American continent. And uh, but they're they are a a a, a gina, the mar the marmota that are uh, used as a food source in, uh, in Mongolia, for example. Uh, marmot is, is hunted as a food source. Here in the United States, generally groundhogs, marmots are, are not uh, used for food source. They aren't a game animal like other small animals. Uh, people do hunt rabbit and squirrel here in the United States to, uh, to some degree, but they don't generally hunt marmots. And they're not an endangered animal. But for some reason, they're just they're just not real common. They're uh, reclusive, and so uh, they don't they don't drink either. They they don't need they get their moisture from the moisture content of the leafy material and the vegetation that they eat. So they don't actually go to a watering hole in water like mo most mammals do. So I just wanted to share with you this relatively rare opportunity to see the only species of marmot uh, indigenous to the United, the United States and uh, something like I say that's, that's quite well known come February 2nd here in the United States so uh, we haven't named him or anything <laughs> and uh, not quite sure how we're going to have uh, relocate him but I wanted to share this with everybody and uh, so I'd like to thank you for joining us here on the Real United States video blog uh, with our special guest the Marmota Monax, and uh, we hope you take time to share this with your friends. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, we encourage you to subscribe and join us for future episodes. And as always, thank you for watching.